All right, so here we are. Just about 10 miles outside of our 15 nautical mile fix around Dallas Low Field. <clears throat> Currently holding at 9,000 feet. About to enter the, uh, the vector leg of our route. Before we uh, manually steer the autopilot into the uh, final base. Expecting calm wind, it's going to be a short runway, and given that, we're going to need extra auto brake, but if you use auto brake above one in the Zippo mod, for some reason it's just, it just doesn't work right, so we're going to be using manual braking for the approach. Might even be uh, most appropriate for me to use flap 40, actually, when I think about it. So, uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and use flap 40. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, we're on our vector now just about. We're going to go ahead and uh, get on heading select here. Alright, we're on our vector now. Alright, so, we're going to start looking at our navigational references. There we go. That was for St. Louis, yeah. Okay, so, uh... What I'll do now is uh, steer the aircraft toward the field and uh, begin a uh, descent down to 5,000 feet. And slow it down to 240 is good. And we'll use uh, vertical speed. I don't want to pitch for speed, it might, it might be a little bit too steep. For the approach, we're pretty much going to treat it as an RNAV approach, uh, since uh, RNAV data reflects real-world data, and uh, it's going to be more, consequently, more accurate than an ILS. So, X-plane ILS is tend to be a little shaky, especially given this airport. We don't want to mess it up. It's just a very short runway, so we need to do what we can to be as accurate as we can. All right, so there's our five nautical mile fix. We'll go ahead and steer just right along it to the uh, reciprocal heading. And we'll focus on descending to 3,500 feet would be good. Sure, landing lights are on. One final recall, we're good. So I got a bear in the mind, it's going to be a flat 40. And uh, since I want to truncate the descent a little more, go ahead and add some spoiler. Take it down to flight to 10. And we'll level change it. Nope, nope. Still keeping that in mind. Don't want too much of a steep descent. So 2200 feet at Daddle, 2500. So it looks like, given the uh, distance from the runway, we'll be good at around 4,000 feet between those uh, to sell points. Or, I'm sorry, about 2,500 to 3,000 feet between those uh, deceleration dots. So we'll be good. 
So we'll go ahead and lower the altitude on the MCP to 2800. Still not having very good visibility, huh? Don't want to scud run it though, we got pretty na uh, modern navigation equipment. Alright, so, uh, give it flap 2, we're well within our flap limit. Start slowing it down to about 100 and 200. We'll turn on the lights nice and early. Get that out the way. Make our turn. go ahead and start targeting 2200 at the uh, Dato intersection. Close the spoiler now. That worked for us. I'll lower our descent rate a little bit. 850 is good, minus. And we'll intercept the uh, runway heading radio. Oh, fast we go. You can see the crown now, that's good. Start slowing it down to 195. Execute that, and I uh, prematurely, not prematurely, I executed that late so we could get a better interception. Heading bug to runway heading, which will be 313. Already set. Even though we won't be using ILS, I just want to keep the uh, runway course right here, just for uh, reference. Alright, so I'll go ahead and take control of the throttles here. And uh, Viva plus 5. And Alright, my aircraft. Looks like we have the ILS tuned anyway. Let's see if we'll see if it's accurate. It might prove to be useful. Alright, so there's our ILS diving. Start swinging it left a little bit. Solid instrument right now. 1600. Go ahead and start the descent. And put the gear down. Three one three on the runway heading. Runway in sight. All right, it's time to show it. Give it flat forty 1, now. Feet Trim it out. Alright, looks like the ILS is doing good for us. I would arm approach hold, but my hands are very full right now. 
don't want to get too low here. Going to need extra power for flat 40. Got to remember that. And it's time to focus. Good visibility. 400. Let's start going visual now. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Taxiway Delta. A little firm on the touchdown, but that's okay. It's a very short runway. Kick the flaps up. Think for flying southwest. Go ahead and uh, clean up the aircraft and configure it for the uh, gate. Ah, very satisfying. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, save some recording time. Thanks for watching. So very. Uh, very stressful approach, very short runway, very low visibility. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.